Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. All right, yesterday I put out a video explaining to you guys how to do basic refeeds and it created a little confusion. So I'd like to go ahead and just clarify for you guys the difference between a few different tools that I have put out to either prevent or reverse metabolic damage that I've done individual videos on. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Oh, and a bunch of people are mentioning that I look a lot smaller when I'm sitting down. So for some of my new subscribers, I'll stand up real quick to give you guys an idea of my size. I'm currently about 206 pounds. All right, guys, I want to just briefly cover for you the difference between refeeds, diet breaks, and reverse dieting. And up here I'm going to link my three videos on these three different topics for you and I'll put them down in the comments below for the people who are on their phones. Refeeds are a first line defense against metabolic damage and muscle loss when you're cutting. You use these as a means of preventing or at least dramatically reducing the speed at which your metabolism slows down, your thyroid slows down when doing a fairly intense or a very long cut. So it's kind of a first line tool that you use and watch the video on it before you start doing them so that you know who they're for and how to go about them. Diet breaks are for people who are suffering metabolic damage and metabolic slowdown already in their cut and their calories are starting to have to get a lot lower than they're comfortable with and they're for people who want to take a break from their diet to repair their metabolism for a few weeks before they go back into a cut and allow them to go back and successfully cut after while eating more calories than they were previously eating on their cut a few weeks before. So rather than as a preventative measure, it is more of a corrective tool and it can be used for someone who doesn't mind a very slow cut to where they're doing it for six months or a year. They can be a nice tool as a preventative measure, but generally they're more of a corrective measure, but they can be used either way. And then lastly, reverse dieting is something that you do to repair long-term metabolic damage, such as someone who's done a very, very long cut, they, who has cut for five or six months or more, or someone who has cut down very, very lean, such as a contest prep or a photo shoot, but they want to maintain that level of leanness. Reverse dieting is a means of slowly bringing your metabolism back up, restoring some lost muscle mass, bringing all your hormone levels back up to normal over the course of sometimes even a couple of months, but doing so in a manner to where you do not gain any body fat. And some people actually get a little bit leaner on a reverse diet while still bringing their metabolism back up to speed so that they can go back into maintenance and maintain the body fat that they currently have, or if they want to go into a bulk they can ease into a bulk and be able to not gain very much fat initially with a rebound effect when they go into their bulk. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope that this has been informative and that it's clarified a few things for you. And I will talk to you next time.